you are connected. Testing, testing one, two. Testing. Okay, so last lesson for the year. No, last lesson for the for your for your for your six years of math education in Singapore primary school. All right, how do you feel? Let's have an interview. Prison, how do you feel after six years of education in Singapore's primary school? No, oh, one word, okay. How about you? Sure. Sure, sure, sure. <laughs> what do you mean by sure? What's the meaning of sure? I guess it's fine. I guess it's fine. Okay, do you have fun throughout the six years of education? Yeah. Yeah, how about Vincent? Do you have fun? Really? Uh, what's so fun about me? <laughs> Can I like an interview? Uh? Ten years down the road, we will come back here. Uh, eh? You said this ten years ago. Yeah, what do you like? Okay, what do you like best about the P6 math education? Not, not tuition here, okay, I'm saying P6. I mean the whole of primary school. What do you like best? Wait, what? Huh? Your whole school so far, you know? Oh, what, what do you think? The subject, the subject, the subject. Mathematics. What do you like the best? What do you think is the best moment? Subject? No, 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 in math, in math. In math. Oh. Yeah, like, do you like the exam? Or do you like the, like, certain topic, like, you like percentage, right? Or you like the, some, maybe sometimes you do experiment in your school for math, right? Or maybe, math? yeah, I don't know. Why do you do experiment on math? Last time we had the weighing machine, uh, left and right. Last time, uh, no, I don't know. Right, which, which part do you like the best? Or do you just like the sitting down and calculation? Or maybe you remember when you're doing multiplication, uh, how do you learn multiplication on this? Which part do you think you enjoy the most? Yes, Mr. The what? The friends. Uh, you enjoy the friends the most. Okay, can okay. Chinese. I say man. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, sit, down. sit down, okay. Oh, you like to sit down, okay. Okay, some people say they like the, calcul the calculator. Yes. They like to use the calculator. I think they think that part is the best of the whole mathematics experience. Yeah, okay, which one is the worst? Which part do you think is the worst? Yes. Yeah, I know, but which part? Yes. No, who got <laughs> Is it problem sum, heuristic, calculation? Which topic you don't like? Problem sum, problem sum. heuristic, <laughs> everything. <laughs> everything you? Everything, uh, or maybe just the exams. Uh. If no exams, do you think your life math better? Like there are no exams. Yeah, okay, maybe, okay. But exams are necessary as part of the... Uh, if no exams, uh, nobody will study. Just like PE. Anyone of you study PE? No. Uh, see, why? No exam? Uh? But PE is not important. Right? No, health, health. Good health, important. Uh, no exam, right? So nobody care. Everyone just say, then I'll go home sleep, right? You see? That's why I must have exam. Okay? All right, and you're going to still have exams for the next, uh, how many years? Four years, two years. Four, four more years. O level. Okay? All right, so, uh, yeah. Yeah, O level, four more years. O, o level, la. four years. Four, your whole secondary school is a four-year course. Split into set one, set two, set three, set four. So, so the, is there an exam on set Yes, there is. But oh. it's to make sure you can promote. Uh. But you must remember the whole thing is a four years course. You are now going into the O level certificate. It's a four years course. Okay, and eventually this four years course will be gone as well. There will be another exam called the SSLE. Secondary school living exam. Really, they changed already. Do you, do you know that? They have changed the thing, eh? so I don't know which year, I forgot which year, I think 2025 or something like that. Maybe you all will gonna, right? Uh, no more, I, I don't know which year, I forgot. It died, I uh, no more O-level, right? You'll take the Singapore standard. That means something like PSL here. Right? Then it's all over again, yay! <laughs> <laughs> Everything repeat one more time. Wait, so you mean O-level is not like PSL? Yeah, no, no, no. O-level is set by Cambridge, ma. Cambridge is in overseas, huh? so we are taking overseas paper. Uh, so why do they want to make it our own? Because uh, we have a 
uh, it's been it's been it's been many years since we use the UK standard, and every time uh, we feel uh, that maybe the standard a bit too easy. As we come Singapore, kids clever or all you very clever. We always do very well in the O level certificates, and the overseas people they don't do so well. So what they do is they they actually split into two different papers, Singapore one and non Singapore one. Oh. Yeah, because you are too clever. <laughs> <laughs> but generally, if you do the non Singapore, everyone will get A1. No. I think. I think. Okay. Uh, never mind. So they decided, I don't want really, uh, Let's just use our own standard. Okay. That right. means Singapore is like, I uh, don't care. Uh -huh. uh, I don't want your certificate. I do my own. Hey, hey, if you're ready. What? Hey, uh, then you will be the first batch again. Okay. Again. <laughs> again. Right? <laughs> to do, do, uh, do the Singapore standard. Exam, yeah. which will be many times harder than O level. Many times. Yes, because we are Singapore. Yes. Singapore, yes. <laughs> okay. So anyway, uh, next is your PSLE. Um, what we're gonna do today, today, uh, is we will try to do as much as we can. Right. We have already finished the first paper, I believe. This is the last question of the first paper. So, uh, and then uh, we're going to paper two lah. Uh, Today, today, right? I try to do as much as we can, as I can. Uh, I don't think I can finish everything, but it's fine because you have already prepared for six years. Right now, yes, I'll six years. Can you imagine the first time you step into primary school? You don't even know A, B, C. Now you can do, you can read the whole thing. Okay? A bit, lah. I know a bit A B C D E only, right? Now you can not only know A B C D, you can do all this stuff, right? So our Singapore education has turned you into a reading machine, right? You can now read and understand things, right? Right? Even though I don't know, I mean, uh, all of you will pass PSLE, right? I don't know how well you do, but generally everybody can read from nothing to can read and then can do complicated stuff like that. So. It has been a successful six years journey for you all. Okay? Mm. Everyone, everyone, everybody. It doesn't matter what grades you got. Really, ma? Right? Everyone can read, right? Who to who? Who cannot read? Can read, right? You can read, right? Oh, you understand math, right? Who do you go in Ibrahim. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm well, Ibrahim. Secondary school near my house. Yeah, it still it still exists. Yeah, yeah it's still alive. It's still, it's still alive. Right. Uh yeah, they wanted us to go back what 50 years anniversary and then go back. It was an online thing. They kind of doing COVID. Okay, anyway, moving on. So uh today we will just try to do as much as we can, right? The people do. Okay. So let's look at the last question. Huh? This one is the last question of the people one. All right, so they ask for uh, draw another trapezium ABC, eh? such as A is longer than BC. So this is F. Okay, ABC, F. So this is a trapezium. Trapezium has got two parallel sides. Okay. Next. Draw another triangle ABG such as it has the same area as ABE. So this is the one. And must not overlap. Good. What? Okay, so it doesn't overlap. That's it. Same area. So how to find the same area? How time base some height? How time base? You see, you use the same height, same base. Uh, you can come with this triangle. Okay. Next one. So that's the end of the paper one. We shall look at the paper two now. Okay, I'll, I'll just go through all of that right? as much as I can. Uh. Yeah. No, uh, we just go to it's not no time. Right? Oh. Mm, Y'all can participate. Uh. I'll ask questions a bit here and there. Okay, so next week. Is it next week? No, next next week. Ne is it next week or next next week? Next week, right? Next, next. Your match paper. Right? No, next, next, next next week, okay? Yes. Um, next week, uh, it's next week. Uh. It's Friday, right? Next Friday. So yeah. I remember like is it next Friday? 30 something. 30 something. 30 something uh. eh? Next Friday is the 1st of October, no? 
Next Friday is first of October. Yeah. So I think it's next week. Yeah. See how it's going on. Oh my god. P S L E math exam. Okay. Yeah, first of October, Friday, next Friday. It's next Friday. <laughs> ah, two years next week. Next Friday, we want to do right by twelve o'clock. It'll be free. Chinese is higher. Chinese is Wednesday. Yeah, next next Friday. It's next Friday. So next Friday, right? You'll be seeing a paper two. Okay. Uh, yeah. I mean, hopefully it's uh, easy, right? So I can say, but I don't know. Because this year was, last year was okay. Maybe this year harder, I don't know. All right, so let's take a look at this, right? But don't worry, it doesn't matter what type of question comes, uh, you just, just look at it, do bit by bit, answer one by one, okay? It's, it'll be fine. So for example, look at this, use all the digits two, three, five, eight to form the smallest multiple of five. Multiple of five means the last number must be a five, right? So here is a two, three, eight, five. Now they want the smallest five, right? Hence your five has to be the last digit. And then your biggest, the thousands, right? You will choose the smallest one. So you left with two. The hundreds also choose the second smallest. And here no choice, it's a eight. Next, the greatest number between 3,000 and 4,000. So now we want the biggest number. Uh, you can't choose five, you must choose three, right? So three and five, two. It's the greatest number, okay? Yes. So the table shows the times taken by four boys to the race. Uh, who was first? First is the short, shortest time. Who, who did it in the shortest time? Who did the shortest time? What? Paul. Oh, why you think he's the shortest time? Hmm? What? What? Ming, yeah, uh, Ming, Ming. Because it's all. 13 points, 8. What, what was the average? So how to find average? Uh, add together, divide by 4. So here you can use a calculator, right? That's a good thing. You should get 14.2. 14.2. Okay, add together, divided by 4. Okay. So Matthew has a rope, which is 64 cm long. He cuts it in three pieces. 1, 2, 3. Find the value. So if you take these three, you add together, you should get 64. So how many U's are there? One, two, three, four. Four U plus eight equals to 64. So to find four U minus, yeah, minus eight. So four minus eight is 50. Yeah, that's 56 divided by four. Let's do. Fourteen, right? So it's fourteen. So answer is fourteen. Okay, one u equals fourteen. Make sense, or not? Yeah. Make sense, or not? Does it make sense? Okay. Good. Next. So Shanti took a taxi. It rhymes from home to her office. Her taxi fare was based on the charges. Okay, stop once at the shopping line for one minute and throw a distance of 5.8. How much was the taxi fare? So first, okay, 5.8, we will split into 1 km and 4.8 km. So the first one kilometer, $3.30. Okay, subsequent one? Every 400 meter, 22 cents. So how many 400 meters are there? You also need to add in the weight. I know. We look at the distance first. Okay. 
So how many, how many 400 meters are there here? Twelve, right? Oh, twelve times dollar twenty two cents equal to two thousand. Right, so we gotta take this plus this, right? But yes, you mentioned the waiting time. Now, uh, waited one minute. So every forty five seconds of waiting time or less. Now, how many forty five seconds are there in one minute? One. Wait. Yeah, there's one and something, correct? Yeah. One and something. So two times. Yeah. So this one incurred twice. Right, so you got to take 22 cents times two. So you add everything together. Okay? Use calculator, right? Your best friend. You'll say you love your calculator, right? Yeah. You love your calculator, Jason? Me too, okay? But I lost three of them already. I don't know. $6. Yes, $6.78. It just disappeared. Yes. Yeah, sure. No, I don't know. What's wrong? I just see if he can go down the road. Okay, okay, we, you do her, do her. So, okay, wait for him to come back. All right, we are back. <laughs> okay, so the square is first divided into two equal halves. The ten, then after that, the top half is divided into five equal parts. So here, five parts here, four equal parts. Five and four common multiple? 20. 20. Very good. So this is three. Uh, sorry, three. Three, three of 20. Why is three, four of 20? Equals to. Well, calculator, don't worry, we're going to use calculator. Then here is half, right? So half of 20 equals to 10. So how many, you see the total area shaded is 165. So if you have 12, you have 10, there's 22 units, right? Is 165, what's the area of square? All right. Right, so this one way, uh, okay, so 22U represents 165. So 1U is 7.5. Okay, so if one unit is 7.5, uh, all together, how many units? 40, right? Because 20, 20, 150 cm square. Easy enough. Life is good uh, last year. Right? Easy, easy enough. You understand? Wait, you. Right? 7 by 5 times 40. Yeah. You want the area of the whole square? What? Wait. 40 times 7 by 5. See? Yeah, 300. 350. 300. Okay. Is it okay? Um, see, so far, so good, right? Question 5, really. So by now, you'll be like, eh, PSO easy, lah. Oop. <laughs> Until you see this. <laughs> my X. Okay, where's X? Oh my god. Okay, triangle. Look, look. Triangle. So 180 minus this 2 equals X. What are you doing in person? 180 minus 41 minus 51. 88. So X equals 88. Okay? And Y, how about Y? Uh, we find the other triangle. We have one triangle here. We don't need another triangle here. What the? How oh, well. Yeah, that's easy. Triangle. Alright, okay, I can find here. Try eighty minus these two. Minus forty one minus thirty one. Alright, eight. So this is one zero eight. 
Yeah, so this is 72. So 180 minus this two, you get one. Take away 51, take away 72, 57. Done. Next. Okay. Lucy had an equal number of gold stars and silver stars. She gave 26 and 14 to Maggie. <laughs> okay, why don't you try? Huh? Yeah, you'll try. Okay. B, on Friday, 627 boys and girls visited the zoo. So that's Friday. 627 boys and girls. So boys and girls is here, right? So this is 627, right? How many units? 11. Yeah, so 11 units. Eh, Prisa, do you understand this? 627, can you, can you, are, you, are you able to interpret this? 627 is 11 units, you know, right? It's 627, right? Can you tell me what's the next step? Oh yeah, I'm waiting for you. What's the next step? What, what do you always do? After you found 11, you need to go 6 to 7, what do you do? Yeah. What's my name? Divide la. You don't have a calculator, he's waiting. Waiting for our answer to drop from the sky. Wait, see, drop from the sky already. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, finish. Sentence finish. Okay. No need. You see, once done, you don't have to read them again. You understand? It's done. Okay. See, we are almost done. What was the total number of visitors on Saturday? What was the total number of visitors on Saturday? Oh. Huh? Very sad. How many units Saturday? How many units here? How many units here? He, 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 he don't have a calculator, he's like, drop from the sky, see? 19. Uh, so what do you do? Uh? Tell me, what do you do? What do you do? Yeah, 7 times 19. See, answer drop from the sky. 1083, this is my mother's house number. <laughs> yeah, the unit number. Mine is wait, what you mean the door number? Yes, the door number. The door number. The door. Five, one, two, three. <laughs> okay. And then you get two marks. What, what's so difficult you tell me? It's because it's you know why? You never do the uh, in your brain, okay? I never really do it, okay? Like in my brain I cancel, cancel, cancel. I don't have to revisit them again because all the information is here. Next. Then uncancel lah. <laughs> this. You see, this one so messy, right? Doesn't you see? In my brain, it goes like that. Okay. Once I'm done, I look. It's gone. It's gone. And it's gone. That's it. I look at the information. That's it. Okay, don't keep looking at all the words. Thanks. It is so easy. You can skip. Uh. You know how to do it. Uh. ABCD is a rhombus. Find ABD. ABD. What's a rhombus? All side equal. Oh, yo. All side equal. Uh, what do you say again? Oh. Yeah. Which is 34, 37. 37. Okay. Next, GCB. GCB. 54. Is it? No, 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 no. no. It's not parallel. Uh, we got to find this, right? So it's 37 times 2, right? 74. Right? And EFB. E, EFB. This one. So 74 and 74, uh, 
And you can find this if you want to. Okay, see, so here is 37, right? And here is uh, 126. So you can find here, right? Okay, so 180, 180 minus 37 minus 126. Done. 17. Next. Finish. Three marks. Four marks. Yeah. I know, 180 minus this equals this. Oh. Uh, it's not 17. 180 minus this equals this. Okay. GCB. This one? E and D here. Okay. What? What? Two? Two? Oh. Finish. Next. Oh, here's another one. These are the best. You know why? So much information. Correct? They give you the info. The worst is this side. Okay, this one not too bad. This one's okay. <laughs> yeah, this time. How to do, huh? Listen, listen. How? You're going to see this, okay? So what do you do? Mr. Lim had blue pants, red pants. What do you do? Lim. Blue. Red. Answer. He sold 270 blue, 25% of the pants sold were red. So minus 270 blue. Answer this. 25% of the pants sold were red. What does it mean? Um, out of the pants. Mm. So that means this is how many percent? This is how many percent? Seven. Okay, listen. Do you know this sentence? Do you understand this sentence? Twenty-five percent of the pants were red. So how many percent is this? This blue, eh? Blue, uh, this red, right? So 25% here, uh, here how many percent? Yeah, then write the 75 here, right? No ink, 75. <laughs> then you get one mark. Easy or not? <laughs> Why you must whistle? Be happy, you see? <laughs> but, yeah, this is 75%, and this is 25%. So if this is 75% and you already score one mark, you see he can whistle. Woo! Okay. <laughs> right? So if this is 75%, can you find this? Yes. Yeah, divide by three, right? First is 90. Uh. Yeah, because one quarter. Uh. Different methods. Yeah, different methods. This, this, this is 90, right? So what you can do is you can also take 270 divided by 75 times 25, you also get 90. So how many blue pens and red pens will he sell together? Listen, right. hello, listen, listen. Yeah, times 100, all right. So you add the two together, 300, three, is it 360? Yeah. <laughs> Left B, come on, people. See, you've done this way. Really. <laughs> what? Wait, only one mark. Other mark. <laughs> okay, so we still have three marks. What do you do? Read now. So he sold 40% of his pants. But okay, this is 40%. Okay, because this is the amount he sold. So what do you do? Uh, we write 40%. Then what do we do? Do our favorite thing, right? <laughs> so 30% of the pants left and so were blue. So this if this is 40% of the total, uh there's another packet that is unsold, right? So there's one more big bunch which is 60%. Okay, do we know how many how many pens are there? Uh, because it's divided into blue and red again. And inside here, 
Thirty percent is uh, blue. This thirty percent. Oh yeah, come right. Thirty, and this is seventy percent. Answer can be finished. So how many red pens in Mister Lim has at first? So we know that this is forty percent. Okay, let's find what is this two. Yeah, find the hundred. Yeah, is thirty. Uh, so we divide by forty times sixty times sixty. Divided by forty times sixty because it's sixty. Oh, this is sixty percent, right? So three sixty, three six zero divided by forty times one hundred. Uh, <laughs> times sixty. You see, I'm, I'm influenced by <laughs> sixty. Right equals to what equal to. 360 divided by 40 times 60. 540. Okay, by, by this time, Vincent is gone. You see, he's, he's playing with his paper. Yeah, please don't do that. Okay, during the exam, you must do your work. Okay, so 540. This the whole thing here is 540. 540. Uh, what do they want? Uh? How many red, right? So, how many, how many red? I want to find red. Uh, and this is 70% off. 540. So 540 is 100%. Yeah, it's the new 100%. So 70 over 100 times. E equals to. Is that it? So we know here there are 398. Okay. And we know he sold. 90. So altogether, 378 plus 90. 468. Because I got C for max. Sure. <laughs> Okay, so there are three types of coins. We have the one dollar coin, we have the uh, 50 cent coin, and we have the uh, what else? 20 cent coin. And two thirds of all the coins were one dollar. <coughs> so here is like two units. Uh, the whole thing is three units. There were three times as many one dollar as 50 cents. Three times? Three times? This is two. Eh? So this is two thirds unit because three times of this even this or if this one too difficult right what do you do change to multiple of three so if this is six this become two because this is three times of this okay three times of this uh <clears throat> now if this is two third of the whole thing that means the whole thing is how many units Mm, times three, nine units, right? So here is six, here two, here must be one. One mark. Yes. Okay. Then you can cancel this. You can cancel this. And you can cancel this. Done. No need to see already for this. So the whole thing is equal to $108. All right, how many coins did Andy save in his coin box altogether? Um, this is actually a value unit question, VU. So what I do, multiply, find VU. This is six VU, this is one VU, 0 0.2 VU. And if you were to add all together, 7.2 VU, 7.2 VU represents, yes, $108. So one VU is 108 divided by 7.2, 15. Uh, if one VU is 15, how many coins, how many coins did Andy save in his coin box? Here, right, six. Two, one, nine unit, right? So we take nine 
times 15. All right, 35. Done. You fix. The soul spend one sixth of her money on the dress and two blouses. So her money will split into six. six. Okay, finish. One dress, two blouse. D to B. One dress, two blouse. Okay, one dress, two blouse. This sounds like Dragon Ball. <laughs> But you all don't know what's Dragon Ball. Cancer. You don't know. It's an anime. Goku. Oh, how do you know? I, I just saw the name. All right, Goku fan. Yeah. The Kamehameha, you know? Yeah. Kamehameha. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, what is it? name ever, but uh, it, it works, okay? <laughs> like, everybody remembers it, right? Okay, anyway, back to here. Uh, this was my P5 comic. Uh, no, P, P5, uh, P5. Eh, no, P4 to P5. Yeah, I started reading this. It was uh, episode one. Now it's very weird. Eh? Okay. So the dress costs three times as much as each blouse. So write down 1D equal 3B. Remember? One dress. Is three times one. If you buy one dress, you can buy three blocks. Oh. Ah, finish. Huh? So now you look at this. This is one D two B. One dress equal three blocks. Eh? So if I want to change everything to blouse, what will it be? How many blouses are there? One dress is three, right? So it's three plus two. Oh. Become five B. Yeah, one one part is five B. So, what fraction of Mr. Su was spent on each blouse? So one part can buy five blouses. How many parts? Okay, how many blouses can she buy? Five 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 six equals to thirty. So she can buy thirty, right? 5 times 6 equals 30. So what fraction of the Wu's uh, money was spent on each blouse? Because her money can buy 30, so 1, one out of 30, the, the cost of the blouse is 1 over 30 of her salary, of her money. Got that? So the answer is just 1 over 30. Okay. Okay. So done. Answer away. We don't have to see again for the rest of our life. Next. So then Mr. Su spent three quarters of the remaining money on the watch. Okay, where is the remaining money? It's here. Three quarters. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, I split into three quarters. This is one troublesome Mr. Su. So <laughs> yeah, I recorded that. So here, so 5B, right? Then 3 quarter, no. Here must chop into how many parts? 3. 4. 4. 4. Join to 4. Oh, 3 quarter. Uh, 3 quarter. Spend on what again? Uh, watch. watch. So 3 is watch. Okay. What else? She spent 2. This one cancel. Gone. Gone. She spent two two zero point five more on the watch than the dress. Wait, where's the dress? Oh, dress equal three blouse. Okay, one dress equal three blouse, right? Yeah. Now this is how many blouses? One box equal five, ma. So this is five. 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 Yeah. So one watch equal fifteen blouse. 15 blouse. Uh, she said uh, 2, 2, 0 0.5 more on the watch than the dress. The dress is 3 blouse, right? Traffic check. Okay. 
So 15 minus 15 minus 3 equals to 12 blouse. So 12 blouse equals to ooh, end of paper. 2, 2, 0. <laughs> Boy. 5. What is the correct cost of 1 blouse? So 2, 0, 1, 5, 0, 5. 12. Oh, Mark, what is it? <laughs> Did we do anything wrong? Wait, what do you want? That doesn't make sense. There's something wrong. Oh, wait, wait, wait. The, this 15. Oh, no, no, no. 15, 12. Wait, for that one. She spent 225 more on the watch than on the dress. One dress is three blocks. So this is 15 blouses. 15 minus dress 3 is 12. 12. Uh, okay, how much money did she have at first? Uh, 30 times 30. Looks weird. I think got errors on that. Cancel. Uh, never mind. We, we don't score the full mark, we score some mark. That's my error. Two two zero. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. Come on, okay, let's check. Hi, we are back. Okay, so we found the calculation error. I made a calculation error here. This the the watch right should be eighteen point seven five B. Okay, not uh, because the we we recut the remainder. The remainder here has been cut. So three quarter of uh, twenty five is eighteen point seven five. So this is eighteen point seven five, and you take away the three blouse. So uh fifteen point seven five blouse represents two hundred twenty dollars and fifty cent. One blouse is fourteen dollars. So altogether thirty blouses is four hundred twenty dollars. That's it. So we come to the end of uh, our lessons here. Okay, I wish you all the best for your PSLE. All right, hope uh, lucky star shine on you. Uh. Shine, 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 shine. Okay, uh, <laughs> questions that you don't know how to do, suddenly you know how to do uh, on the extra day. Like all of a sudden, <laughs> you know how to do. All right, that's my wishes. I wish all the best for your uh, PSLE. Okay, not just men, everything. That's all. That's all for the day. All right, that's all for the year. Yeah, no more idea. Huh? So don't come again huh, next week. <laughs> okay, bye bye. Take care. Okay.